Hey, Casper from Colorado here, and I approve this message. You know, 14 years ago, we were attacked on 9-11, and today is the anniversary of 9-11, and I can remember exactly where I was at the time when this happened. I was getting ready for work that morning and heard about it on the news, but then I hurried into work to try to uh, see if I could get more information. We had to find a TV at the time. TVs were not that prevalent at the time. We had to find the TV in the AV closet. We pulled it out. It wasn't even connected to any cable or anything like that. It had rabbit ears. We had to just get a station connected up to a, a local station and we were watching it and it was an, a mesmerizing situation because we're trying to figure out what the heck is going on. At that time, I really felt like we were one country with one mission, one heart. I mean, we were all together. Even the politicians in DC seemed to be all on the same page. It was a sight to behold, and it was very, very moving at the time. In fact, as you went out to the movies or you went to a sporting event, they played the national anthem. People stood. People had their hands on their, on their chest. People were saluting the flag. They were doing all these things because we were all Americans. That lasted for a couple months, and then we went back into sleep mode. <laughs> okay, So that was a tragedy. Now, there's a new tragedy happening probably today that's going to happen. Let me get back to that, but I want to give you a little bit of a history lesson. Back in the early 70s, in um, actually 78, when I went into the military and went into basic training, I was training right alongside Iraqi troops in Texas. Yes, in Texas. Now, prior to that, in the early 70s, we were training Iranian troops in Texas. We were friends with Iran at the time. We were friends with the Shah of Iran at the time. When the Shah got ousted by the Ayatollahs, they were, um, the U.S. was looking for any country or anyone that did not like Iran because now Iran was the enemy, okay? Understand, Iran was the enemy, was first with friend, then an enemy. So they looked for anyone that didn't like Iran. So Iraq raised their hand. Saddam Hussein raised his hand. So I don't like Iran. So we said, great, come on over, we'll train you. That's the troops that I was training right alongside within 78. Now, the U.S. wanted... Saddam Hussein to fight Iran. So they were supplying them and selling him weapons of mass destruction. Not nuclear weapons, but chemical weapons, biological weapons. And I know this to be true because I was a weapons specialist at the time in the military. So we were doing this. Now, we wanted him to use those weapons on Iran, but guess what? He had different plans. He hated the Kurds up north more than he hated Iran. So he started using those weapons on the Kurds. And a lot of Kurds died because of that. The U.S. said, wait, 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 time out, time out, what are you doing? You're supposed to use those weapons on Iran. He said, yeah, I will. I'll get to Iran in a minute. But I hate the Kurds more, so he started attacking the Kurds. He even was thinking about Kuwait at the time. Um, so because of that, the U.S. stopped selling him weapons of mass destruction. But it didn't matter because China, Russia, France, they all had weapons of mass destruction, and they all decided that, hey, he needs them, we have them, why not sell it to him? So that's what was going on. Understand, we cannot make friends with people with this ideology. This is not going to work, okay? It didn't work back then. It's not going to work now. We can't do a treaty with them in this particular state. The people of Iran are awesome people, but they are currently being led by a radical regime that is sponsoring terrorists around the world. We do not want to give them any help in doing that. Not only are we going to give them help, we're going to sign this treaty. This treaty is going to happen because there is no one in D.C. with enough spine to stop it from happening. So it's going to happen. It's probably happening as, the, as you're listening to this recording. But here's the thing. That's going to cause a ripple effect in that region unlike anything that we've ever seen before. And we are going to be the main sponsor in supporting of that activity. And we're going to be flying in tens of thousands of potential, not all, of course, not all, but there's going to be a handful of people that we're going to be flying in, we're going to be setting them up with food, shelter, and clothing, okay, they're not going to be homeless, we're going to make sure of that, so we're going to be supplying them with all they need to continue on their mission and potentially attack us from within, that is the most ludicrous thing I have ever seen in my life. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We have to put it into that. We've got to stop that. But we have no one in D.C. that has enough patriotism left to stop this. I'm running for Congress. I'm running for Congress in CD1. 
I need your help. I need for you to go to CasperForColorado.com. Help me out. I need to get into the fight. I'm willing to get into the fight, but I need your help. Hey, thank you, and God bless America.